got a cool device to show you that I've just got in stock. It's the it's not a new device, but it's still a really good device. Top box mini platinum edition. Open it up, you get the device. Top tank mini. I'll put that to the side. See what we get in the box. That's what you get in the box. Get a user manual. A warning to it's basically the way that's in French or something. It's filling and close top cover immediately. Cards for authenticity. That's a card using guide so can you coil. It shows your VG what wattage you should run it at. Stickers for the battery, and that's as much as paperwork goes. You'll get a baggie with a pre made coil, some screws, and the infamous blue screwdriver. A baggie of some good quality cotton. I don't know if it's very good quality, but it will do, it's passable. RBA base RBA plus this is the newly designed it's got nice big fat juice channels it pretty much is just a, like a coil it's got a coil pre-built inside you just got a wicket I've got to screw this sucker back on. There we go. I was going to, I thought I was going to be there for ages then. Get your charging cable. Get a nickel coil, 0 0.15 nickel coil to be used in temperature control only. And a stainless steel. I'm not quite sure which um, coil that is. I think it's 0 0.5 ohm. I'll just put the paperwork away. Does come installed with a 0 0.5 collapsing coil, I think, but I burnt it out testing this. But this is a top tank, so I've just put an OCC coil in there, but this is the top fill design. Obviously the sub box mini. It was bottom fill, this is upgraded with top fill. And the subbox mini went from 0 0.3 ohms up. This goes from 0 0.1 ohms up. And it's 75 watts instead of 50. If you want to replace your coil, you just grab the base, twist it. Threadings were really nice and smooth. And there's your coil. Now we'll look at the device. I've got an Aspire 2600 milliamp hour battery 18650 that I'm going to shove in there. Two seconds, I'll be back. So putting your battery in, negative up, positive down. So we'll start off with being off. So you click the button that says off, click that five times, one, two, three, four, five, Kanga Tech, 75 watts, that's your wattage, I'm not going to go all the way down because it takes a while to do it, but it goes from 7 to 75 watts, 
hold the plus and minus, flips the screen. And to get into temperature control, you go one, two, three. Right, that's nickel. Titanium. Stainless steel. Nichrome. Back to water edge. It's blinking that it's got no atomizer on it. But I'll get, where's that gone? I'll show you what it looks like with it screwed on. There we go. I was saying, is it a new atomizer? I'm going to click yes. So it's reading it at. What's it reading it at? I'm trying to get it to focus. Not 0.6 ohm. Yeah, not 0.6 ohm. That's the kit, that's how it looks. Very nice. That's the kit, spring loaded 510. Not hugely spring loaded, but it is spring loaded. Either gold or brass center pin. Charging ports down here. You could charge your 18650 battery from the port which I do, people recommend getting an external charger for your 18650s but I just charge it from the device. Yeah that is the ins and outs of the, well going on to the sub box, the sub box, the improvements over the sub box is this goes from 7 to 75 watts rather than 7 to 50 watts. It reads from 0 0.1 ohms up rather than 0 0.3 ohms up. So that's the improvements over it. And it's lovely in this platinum edition, which is basically this is made out of stainless steel completely, so it's not going to chip and the paint's going to come off it, which was a problem with the sub box. And the top box that's painted in aluminum. This is a slightly more expensive model, it being stainless steel. But you pay for what you get. You, know, you get what you pay for, even. But yeah, very nice device. And I'll be trialling it out at some point. I've not actually tried it yet. But I've tried the sub tank minis and stuff like that. So I imagine it would be the same sort of experience. But... I'm yet to try. So thank you for watching my video and I'll see you soon.